Hey guys, I'm out here diagnosing this American Standard heat pump. And the issue is, it is not going to defrost for long enough. And it is icing up around the bottom here. And even after defrost cycle, it doesn't completely get rid of the ice around the bottom. So, I found a little trick. And to do this, you're going to want your low voltage disconnected, your R wire, or turn it off at the furnace and the breaker. And you can see I have the disconnect pulled as well. But if you look at this little defrost board, and this is only for American Standard heat pumps, you're going to have these two little resistors here. One's going to say soft SW, the other one's going to say turn. The one that says turn, that little resistor there, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it and spread it apart so that it's not touching. And what this will do, it basically makes it run a longer defrost cycle. We're going to give this a shot. We're going to take our side cuts here. Make sure you have power off and you have the right resistor term. Let's, let's cut that. Make sure that's not touching. All right. All right, we got that cut and we have the power back on. I also went ahead and replaced our coil sensor too because that was not reading properly so we're gonna kick this on and see if this defrosts properly all right everything is running again but I don't want to sit around and wait for it to go into defrost by itself so we are going to force initiate defrost and the way to do that is you have a test pen it says FRC DFT that's defrost and then the test common TST com uh, we're going to short those two terminals together and that's going to force a defrost cycle. So we need a little screwdriver here to short it. There we go, defrost is initiated. Let's see if it gets rid of all the size. Frosting. Yeah, I'd say pretty much all of that ice is gone. Because before, when it was running the defrost cycle, it wasn't getting rid of all of the ice, and there was still a big chunk around the bottom. All right, everything's up and running normal again. Fan kicks back on. The reversing valve opened, and we are heating again. Well, this is cooling. Because technically, this is the evaporator coil because it's a heat pump. Um, we're going to take some checks inside. I'll oh, see all the ice is gone. I think we're good. 